Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. The bottom of the deck, I just saw the King of Wands, and here's the King of Cups. Ooh. King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and here is the... <laughs> The nine of pentacles with the empress. This energy is so good. I just said that at the bottom of the deck, I saw the um, king of wands and here is the queen of wands. So I'm going to get into this more, but judgment is being called on a lot of people right now. Of course, right now, Scorpio season, eclipse season, Saturn is going direct. I mean, there's a lot happening in the cosmos right now, but for a lot of people who have been doing the work, I always have to put that in there for those that have really been doing the work. You have some really, really, really great energy that is coming here that is being manifested for you. The King of Cups is here with the Ten of Pentacles. So the King of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For me, it's typically um, a Scorpio um, man or woman. This could be um, a woman even who is um, has Scorpio highly aspected in their chart who could come off as a little bit masculine. Nothing wrong with that. Ten of Pentacles here. This is long-term stability. It's success. It's... Um, roots is legacy okay and then the will of fortune this has everything to do with your destiny the empress here this could be a divine feminine could be male or female of course but nine of pentacles i'm picking up specifically though a woman to be honest with you who um has most likely tapped into more of the masculine energy to manifest a lot of stability and security but there's also a masculine here who i feel is very much head over heels in love with a um a divine feminine with this empress here because the nine of pentacles and the ten of, ten of pentacles are both out here so this is telling me that someone is very much stable secure self-sufficient and abundant on their own and has become a vibrational match for a counterpart most likely okay the king of cups being here um we haven't pulled many cards just yet this person could be a divine masculine or on their way to becoming a divine masculine um there, there's almost like i'm hearing like there's a, a love story unfolding here this could be a, an ancient um type of love story a past life connection almost that i'm getting here with the will of fortune being right here in the middle this is something that's being gifted to you from the divine i feel and it, it was based on um divine timing for some of you now this could be someone from your past like i said a past life or this could be a, a energetic connection that you have with someone that has not physically entered your life you know um it's up to you to decipher and discern where you fall in the reading. But this King of Cups, what I'm getting here is this King of Cups will actually be able to have the Ten of Pentacles when something that is destined turns with this Empress. A lot of karmic cycles are ending right now. There's a lot of endings and new beginnings here. A lot, like I said, going on with the cosmos, even if you look here, there's something lining up with, with energy, with... um someone's like something here about even astrologically something is happening there's something going on i guess with venus and mars i'm not entirely sure i'm not an astrologist um libra and scorpio season has been very significant i mean we we just crossed over into scorpio season but even the empress here is Libra and Taurus energy, but a lot to do with security and stability. I don't know if you guys remember. I don't know if it was a, a total lunar eclipse or partial or, or whatever, but there was an eclipse that was back in Taurus season, sometimes in April, if I'm not mistaken. Some of you have a situation that I'm getting that is coming back to you. You could have gotten something um, started and off the ground, and I don't know what happened with that situation. I, I'm getting... That there's been some type of um, detour. There's been some type of delay. And something is lining up now energetically. That is allowing a lot of abundance to come in. I, something, something here was rerouted. Whatever this is though. It, it's, it could have been some type of rejection honestly. It was for your protection. Again you could have you know had a situation. I'm getting like this stop and go type of energy. Let's see. So you could have had someone that came back into your life or a new person that came into your life. It wasn't time. This is so crazy. This this is strictly an intuitive message. For some of you, it's like you could have met um, a soulmate or a, a divine counterpart or something like that. I'm hearing prematurely. What I mean by that is that you met someone possibly or you reconnected with a person 
But then there was something here that was delayed or you had due to like a detour because there was still another lesson that you had to learn. This could have even been you met somebody, you could have went back to something from the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. There is something though that you needed to fix or work on before you could get to where you are now. And now we have this partial eclipse that's coming, but it's here in Scorpio season. So whatever you were trying to get rid of, whether it was a mindset, um, bad habits or relationship, financial issues and addiction, whatever it was that you needed to get rid of or the person in your environment or coming into your life needed to get rid of, it's being eliminated for good now. But this is definitely something that you're revisiting or someone that you're dealing with. Yeah, look, Justice, I'm telling you. And here's the, the um, tower card. This is exactly what I just said. The Justice, the, the tower, and the four of pentacles. Something that has had a hold on you or that you've been holding on to. This has a lot to do with your stability, the building of your future, your foundation. There was something here where I'm telling you, I, I feel this so strongly. Yes. Page of, of Cups with the Temperance here. Something came in and it was something that you had hoped for, wished for, and you manifested. Like I'm saying, you manifested something that was very divine. It came in, but I don't feel like you had completely tempered yourself for this. Something came in prematurely. It's like you kind of got a taste of something. Okay. This could have been something with, with work. It could have been something in a friendship. Um, you could have made some type of lifestyle change and I feel like it was going good. And then this conflict came, this stress, fear and anxiety came. Okay. Um, it, it's almost like being in a place where you had to figure out where you walking, because I do feel like it's something that you walked away from. Did you walk away because you were defeated or did you just realize that you needed to surrender something? Some of you, you had to surrender something and really, really put your faith and your trust in the divine and, and really walk by faith and not by sight. Justice is being served, like I said, and here, here's the, the tower. This is the eclipse here. Something here is being taken up by the root. You're, you're getting some type of powerful download, revelation, and epiphany. Some people are going through an awakening here, but this is karmic justice happening here. And with the wheel of fortune being out here, there's no way you can stop this. This has something to do with someone's overall birthright, especially with the empress and the ten of pentacles being here and the nine of pentacles. This is your security, your stability, your home life, your family. Some people have to go back possibly and work on a family situation. This to me, um, it definitely feels like it's related to love in a way with the temperance angel being here. Something significant could happen around um, Sagittarius season, which is, you know, coming right up after Scorpio season. So there's a, a, a death, a, a rebirth, a transformation that's happening now. I'll say a death, an ending, and it's preparing for an, a new beginning here. So again, it's like something came into your life or it's coming into your life. It may not stay or perhaps before it didn't stay. Some of you could have had a, a soulmate that could be a friend, a family member, or even a lover that came into your life. They had to teach you something. So that you have the strength and the courage right now to break away from something, to go back and heal a relationship or to heal something in your finances or to do, you know, shadow work healing or something like that. It was preparing you so that you would actually have the right energy to receive something. Something here, I just keep hearing it was pre, it came prematurely. Now, this trigger warning, some of you could have even gotten pregnant at some point Re or it could have this could have happened or it may happen there could be a miscarriage okay if that happened that that baby is coming back to you without a, there's no doubt their baby is coming back to you hmm BW. Somebody's name could start with somebody's last name could be Walker. Brian Braylon. I don't know. It's weird. Um. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. 
Someone here has had to stabilize something with their overall stability. Someone could have even been dealing with a little bit of codependency, I feel. And you had to, it's like you had to show yourself and the divine that you could stand completely on your own. Or this is someone that you're dealing with. The page of cups to me as well, you know, could definitely, you know, you guys know I'm, I'm huge. Um, when it comes to shadow work and healing, someone may have been dealing with something that happened to them since childhood. There could be some regrets here, some type of, you know, anxiety. Someone could have just some seeds of doubt that has been planted in their mind since childhood. And they had to do something to overcome that type of energy. Some of you also, especially if you're a divine feminine, you could have met a king of cups or you will. This person has been patiently waiting on you to actually become the empress. But again, there was something that you had to heal. Something that, I don't know, you guys. I feel like I'm saying the same thing. But this, whatever this is, it was big. Yeah, it's manifestation here. Also, there's possibly been some type of spell work or manipulation that has caused all of this confusion over a two of cups. Oh my gosh. It's exactly what I'm saying. Some of you have met someone or you connected with some someone. And I'm saying prematurely. You connected with them at the right time. But... There has been nothing but spell work, manipulation, and everything else thrown at two people who are supposed to come together. But if you notice here, these two people are coming together with both with their cup in their hand, ready for equal give and take. Something here has to be tempered. It has to be balanced out. So you most likely had to be there. And if you notice here, this is a divinely guided connection. So this could be a high level soulmate or a twin flame, a past life connection, a healthy one that is coming into fruition at this time that you've manifested. But there had to be some kind of self-control and a lot of patience. Because something here is pretty big for all of this magic. I mean, there's nothing here but magic manipulation mind control scheming scamming backstabbing betrayals and a lot of different options and confusion and illusions here in a situation all surrounding a two of cups so again this right here could have someone very stressed out currently about um an offer whether or not you're going to receive an offer a proposal or an apology i i believe that you are something here it, it just had to be done it had to be done this way Somebody wanted you most likely, though, to miss out on an opportunity is what I'm getting here by causing all of this chaos. The seven of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords, it's seven, eight, nine, five of swords, seven of cups. Somebody here has has completely just put some type of illusion over you like this is this is chaos, magic and, and conflict spells and confusion spells like somebody has thrown every spell that they possibly could uh, think of at a connection either this is a connection that you you're already in or that someone has been watching and spying on spiritually because they know that it's coming in but something here is written because i'm telling you this king of cups will become the emperor by being with the empress and there's nothing but abundance here I mean, this is a lot of about nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles with the empress. It's like uh, there's two people who come together and they're so. Um, I don't know. I don't know astrology. I don't know what ninth house, but I'm hearing in my head tenth house. I don't know what ninth and tenth house may be, but I'm I'm literally seeing like a, a natal chart or like an astrology report or something, whatever is possibly in someone's 10th house or something like, if you know, you know, you can put it in the comments, but something here about your fortune, your stability and your security, it's tied to another person. So you could have met someone or manifested them and keep in mind, you could have manifested someone and connected with them energetically and spiritually and you haven't met them physically. Okay. However, it resonates though. Something had to be completely cleared out. Some Somebody here could even be waiting on a divorce or some type of legal situation to take place or something within a family dynamic or a legal situation is going to take place and clear everything out and really balance the scales in a situation. And this could be someone going through something legal because of all of the chaos, the magic, and everything else that has happened. Whoever has been attacking a particular person 
or a connection, this is going to backfire in the worst way if it hasn't already. Yeah, because there's a cycle here that's over. So you have a King of Wands here and a Knight of Wands. It's like, for some people here, yeah, there's it's like two different people are going towards this Divine Feminine because this Divine Feminine is completely free. This Divine Feminine doesn't, it's like a Divine Feminine, um, I'm seeing like, it's like spiritual divorce court. <laughs> it's like a Divine Feminine is free from some type of contractual agreement or spiritual agreement that could have come from several past lifetimes with a particular person. And now you have several people that are trying to go into some type of new contract or union with this divine feminine. One is the person that she separated herself from. Or honestly, that like God has separated some of these people because they, they just are refusing to grow. You can have one person here that's older, one that's younger. One person could be at a distance. The other, they both could be at a distance. But this is a lot of action. People are taking action now because this cycle has closed. So you have to be very discerning right now. But I feel like someone here is for sure being watched and monitored closely. Yes, because you have this new contract here. You have a choice here for sure. And someone knows that you've made a decision to move on to peaceful, calmer waters. Going towards happiness, joy, peace, success. This is destined. The sun and the star, this is not a combination that you see together often. Wow. Wow. And this is judgment. Oh, look at that. the sun, the star, ace of pentacles and the fool. And then what do we have here? The queen of cups. We started with the king of cups, the three of cups, the emperor. I, I can't make this up. You've seen me shuffle the card. What did I tell you? This king of cups becomes the emperor by going into union with this queen of cups who most likely is already the empress. This brings about wish fulfillment, nine of cups, but something has to be cleared away so that this could come together. This queen of cups may have had to open her heart up to love. This king of cups may have had to go and deal with some type of situation in their life. It's like two people came together and then they had to break apart. Five of Pentacles, they had to leave each other out in the cold to possibly go and deal with situations from the past where they were left out in the cold and has had some type of loss. This right here has, has made these two people, I feel, a huge target for really negative low vibrational energies because these two people are fighting for their destiny. I don't really feel like these two people are fighting necessarily for each other, but they are tied to each other's like they're tied to each other's destiny. They're supposed they're not fighting for each other. This is two really self-sufficient, self-aware, conscious individuals who are just living their life. They know that they're chosen, they're divine, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but in the end, it's like they're destined to come back together. Again, this could be someone from your past that you've already been with, or this could be someone brand new. It, it's a very strong spiritual like connection here though. But you do have a person for sure who knows that you have a, a new um, choice in love or the person that you're connecting with. They have someone. Actually, both of you could have someone because I'm picking up four or five different energies here. So it could be two people. OK, that makes sense. This is what's happening. There's two people who could have possibly met or reconnected. I feel like everything was good. You recognize the connection. You tapped into this this divine path you you saw the future then boom all of a sudden all of this chaos this conflict was thrown at these two people it's almost like there this is this could be a real twin flame union here where there had to be a separation you both had to go off to deal with different things like i said family issues financial issues exes or whatever i feel like two different people who are coming together both have a karmic energy in their lives that they had to get rid of and completely resolve that right now is being cleared out and i feel like for the feminine the feminine energy here had to clear something out more emotionally that was blocking so the feminine may not have necessarily been like dealing with a past person but was still dealing with the heartache the, the grief the pain 
the subconscious blockages or the inner child wounding or whatever. And so the feminine had to go and work on just being more stable and secure, maybe just focusing on the pentacles. You have this king of cups energy here, this masculine who could have actually been tied to some type of family situation or had a lot of financial ties to someone, whether it was a family, they could have been married or whatever the case may have been. So this person had a physical blockage that they had to get rid of. I feel like two people most likely met one another or reconnected. And it seemed like it was at the worst time. Because you, it's two people who had something to deal with before they could come back together. This is a real like twin flame connection here. You meet, everything is, is great, and then boom, all of a sudden it crashes, it burns, you separate. But this seems to be two people who separated and they both did the work and they're coming back together. But you've had a lot of people in the meantime, in between time, trying to confuse these these two people who are supposed to be coming together. And you have to be very discerning right now because everyone is, is painting themselves and dressing themselves up to look like they are your your counterpart, your mate. And I'm hearing right now, confidence is quiet. Someone knows that you're their person or you know someone is your person. Be very mindful um, about people speaking to you about your relationship or your choices in love or in life because there's something here that you know it's very very sacred but there's a, a masculine here who for sure knows that they have to make some changes with their living situation their family their finances or something like that in order to be with this divine feminine this person also knows that only when they choose to connect with this queen of cups who is actually already a divine feminine because this queen of cups has grown to become the empress, the divine feminine, and is very much stable, sufficient, and secure on his or her own. This king of cups, who is emotionally and energetically tied to this queen of cups, will become the emperor only by going into this new connect, this, this contract, honestly, with this empress. But there was something, a karmic clearing here that had to happen first. But this is something that's destined with the lovers. And it, it brings about wish fulfillment. So, yeah, this is taking a leap of faith. Stepping into the unknown here. Again, these two people had to take a risk, take a chance. Divine Feminine most likely had to, like I said, be willing to experience love. They both did. Both people do. But it was something that you had to free yourself from. I'm telling you, like, right now is the time to wrap up any cycles here. You have a very angry person here, though, from the past. Who feels like, especially with this divine feminine, that this divine feminine belongs to them. Like, they should have first dibs on the blessings and the abundance. This could be someone that divine feminine could have previously had a child with. But something here is destined. And I would say if you're in that space or place right now where you're very confused, you really need to pray about this. Pray, meditate, and go within. I would say surrender. Just surrender to God because the illusions and confusion here is it's a lot. I, I feel like this is a, a divine couple, honestly, that's being hit from every direction. But you are going to receive some good news. So this nine of wands here and this king of wands. Whoever this angry person is, this very aggressive person who keeps trying to rush in to somehow change like the destiny of this empress. Someone is, is following very closely behind this person, this nine of wands energy. And, and let me make this clear to you. Some of you have a person that's very angry, aggressive, okay? This person here, look at this fist balled up. This person here is sitting down. This is the kind of person who sits down and 
they're angry at your new beginning. They watch you and they spy on you. Okay. They watch you and they spy on you and they see that you've made a decision and you're choosing to move forward. But check this out. A lot of people will say, well, the King of Wands has more power or whatever than the knight of wands but uh, you have to think if a person is not in their highest vibration this is someone here who is angry aggressive possessive possibly okay this person is still sitting down though because the king of wands is someone who is could be in their ego very very masculine in their ego feels like they can call the shots by sitting down you have a new person i feel that is coming in this person is on a horse Meaning, even if this person does not have the same resources as this person, this person is on a horse and rushing in. Meaning, no matter who has been here longer, who may have more resources, who's older or whatever the case may be, you have an energy now that's coming in taking action. And this person is passionate, but they're not, this person doesn't look angry and upset. It's all about the energy. So you may right, right now just be trying to figure out well, what is happening. Your truth and clarity is coming in with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, Hangman. I feel like right now you can just kind of rest, to be honest, because you've already been enlightened about the truth. And also here with the Hangman and the Ace of Swords being here, it's like the truth is going to set you free, but I don't, I don't feel like you have to go and look for it. So if you're finding yourself stressed and having a lot of anxiety, you want to ground yourself because, yeah, it's like something here, you know, something is coming. I feel like it's not so much paranoia. You have a person that's pulling on your energy a lot, though. This king of wands, most likely, that's causing you to be a little bit paranoid, but you may be feeling a lot of anxiousness. Your moods may be up and down. Your sleeping patterns may be off because there is something that's coming back. And when I say back, it doesn't have to necessarily be someone you've dealt with before from the past. This could be a past life connection. But this is something also that spirit is gifting you with. So again, it's like you're you're going back to something because you're making the choice to leave something or someone behind, I feel. To go into something that is more meaningful to you. This is good. And I like it because it's whatever you're doing and you're you're mirroring someone. Somebody else is willing to do the same thing for you. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, something here is going to hurt though. Or someone is going to be hurt by the fact that you're accepting this, this offer. Some of you could be accepting an offer from someone from your actual past. This is going to leave someone feeling very much stabbed in the back and betrayed. Five of Cups, but all is not lost. Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So you have two tens here and two eights. So there's something here that um, is karmic. It's a cycle. It's ending. You're moving on from something that doesn't give you emotional fulfillment and you're moving into something that is more meaningful. Some of you could be traveling. You could be relocating. Someone could be coming to you um, from a distance. The Knight of Wands sometimes can definitely speak of someone, you know, that travels a lot. You could have met someone traveling. This person could be foreign. Eight of Wands. It's like you have this tunnel vision right now. You're very optimistic about moving in a new direction. It's like you, the three of, of Pentacles is rewards, recognition for some type of work that you're doing. But this is also for some of you, it's like you have a vision board. You've already sketched out what you want your life to look like. And I'm getting to where it's like a person has met you or someone from your past. You are their muse and their inspiration. They want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. But here we have this queen of wands and the hermit. There's a karmic energy that is watching you very closely. This could be someone in your life or the life of someone that, you know, you're connected to if you've met this person already. Even if not, though, a person can spiritually spy on you. Yeah, you're moving forward, though, past this, this crossroads here. Someone here tried to have you at a crossroads and blocked. 
but you're needing to stand up for yourself. Don't focus on anything negative here because you don't want to miss out on the opportunity. Have the strength to, to overcome any type of fear or illusions about a situation because that instability is what's going to keep you stuck from going towards love. I feel like your love life is going to be great by the time Capricorn season gets here. I know this is the type of love, though. It's like you and this person. There's a lot of infatuation. There could be, like I said, some karmic energies around it. But maybe this is the reason why you and someone either came together and you had to separate or you and someone may come together in the future. And there may be some energies that you're needing to work on clearing out. But when you see the Ace of Cups and the, the Devil to me together... Um, especially because the page of pentacles and the six of pentacles is here. I feel like this is going to be equal give and take. So you could be meeting someone that could be a Capricorn. Like I said, you could have a new love that enters your life during Capricorn season, or maybe you met this person during last Capricorn season. We always look at just, you know, the devil is negative, but taking it a bit further, Capricorns tend to be anal, um, it's stereotypical, but we, you know, every single zodiac sign has its, its characteristics. Capricorns tend to be very anal. They can come off as a little bit possessive even. They're very um, conservative and traditional. So for some of you, you have a more traditional type of connection that is coming. This will be more of like a life partnership. This person is going to want to do everything with you, go everywhere with you. Of course, you, you know, you have to check whether or not someone's being protective or possessive, but this is a type of person that is not going to want to let you go. This is someone who will pretty much be very much into you. I don't want to use the term obsessed or even infatuated um, because you don't want it to be unhealthy. Codependency could have been the karmic energy that needed to be healed before you and someone could come together. But I do feel like there's good news coming here where someone is going to make it clear that they want a solid beginning with you. Where there is equal give and take and a lot of reciprocity. And this is coming after a lot of third party interference, whether it's friends, family, financial issues, or whatever the case may be. There's a passionate new beginning coming here. Wow. Okay. King of Swords. Yeah, someone has made up their mind. Someone has made up their mind to move away from a lot of conflict, chaos, competition drama maybe having you know multiple options you know this energy of people fighting over you even in the spirit realm that's all coming out it's like your person has been chosen for you the hierophant is here it's time for you to choose and be chosen by the person that is in alignment with your higher self your true vibrational match because you've put in a lot of work now and mastering yourself and look at this Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and here is the Queen of Swords. The King of Swords just came out. You and someone could definitely um, have a lot of issues, but you may have good communication or very strong telepathic communication. So even if you've been um, separated from this person or if this is something happening in the future, you most likely will know that this is a different type of connection because your telepathic communication will be very strong or maybe you and this person you've mastered or been working on your telepathic communication there was a reason why you and this person couldn't come together and i really feel that it's two different people here who understand this journey very well because as soon as you had to face this adversity with this spell work magic manipulation the karmic energies and all of the illusions it seems like someone automatically knew okay let me go and fix something let me go heal something. But they were still coming towards you slowly with this plan. It was just hidden. And look at that. Scorpio. High priestess energy. You and someone both could have Scorpio highly as aspected in your chart. Like a Scorpio rising. You embody the energy of death. Rebirth. Transformation. So whatever this transformation is or whatever this situation is, it has been a journey that has allowed you to go through this transformation to become a high priestess, a high priest. And you're, you're, you've successfully completed this mission to have this transformation. So here you have this knight of, oh my goodness. <laughs> here you have this knight of pentacles coming in. This person is coming in to put this pentacle right in your lap. 
don't judge a book by its cover because it's Knight of Pentacles, who has been moving slowly with this very methodical approach, is actually the King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, it's something about this masculine. His life is dependent on the feminine. He's either the King of Cups who turns into the Emperor when he connects with the Queen of Cups who's already an Empress. When he comes and gives the seed to the Queen of for some of you too, there could for sure be a child that is supposed to be created between you and a person or a business, whatever it is. When this masculine plants a seed with this Queen of Pentacles, that's when you inherit everything. And that would explain the reason why this Knight of Swords, why these energies have been coming at you, the evil eye, all of the projection, the low vibe, you know, just the manipulation, even the magic. That is the reason why, because somebody knows that when these two people come together, what they're manifesting, this is just the energy, honestly, of, you know, the devil. But this is all in the mind. If you're separating yourself from this and you're focused on being your the best version of yourself and your partner is doing the same thing, this is going to come together and be successful no matter what. There's a union that is going to happen. Any final messages? I just said this. The devil. Here we have the devil, the three of swords, and here's the seven of swords. I feel like the devil is upset that the because the devil has been defeated at his own game. It didn't matter how much the devil was trying to watch, stalk, and spy on these two people or this connection. Trying to break these two people down and all that it didn't work. Because with this page of wands in this particular deck, what I'm getting here is that there's something very special and sacred about these two people where even when perhaps in, in the body, in the flesh, there's disharmony and discord, your soul can speak the truth to this other person. Your soul is telling this other person, we're building something in the 5D. We're investing in something and we have to both be patient. This is going to take time. So now the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Wow. <laughs> eight of Cups, Eight of Swords. What is that? Eight of Pentacles, 888. So remember I said that there could have been something in the past. Some of you could have met someone back in the spring or something of great significance happened in the spring. You could have started a business, a job, met someone, whatever around the lion's gate portal and this ha this happens every year you guys like pay attention to the rhythms the cycles and the patterns in your life whatever you were trying to manifest most likely it could have come into fruition around the lion's gate portal but of course the witches the wizards the warlocks the devil became very heartbroken about the fact that you actually had this brand new beginning ace of swords you you were inspired to take a leap of faith. So that's when all of the illusions came. Seven of Swords. The lies, the backstabbing, the betrayal. Your spirit had to communicate with this, this twin soul, this twin flame, and let them know that you do want to work on this. This has everything to do, 888, with your overall abundance, your security, your stability, your manifestations. You had to come out of the mind you had to, to walk away from anything that had you in this mental entrapment here. So you had to master learning how to shape shift and get past the illusions being sent to you by the devil. And the devil is an energy that is bouncing around from friends, family. It's, it's coming from, from everywhere. So you just had to master controlling your thoughts. And this person did too. And here you have it. The Ace of Wands, and here's the Knight of Wands. Look, Knight of Wands, Four of Wands. What I tell you earlier, you have an angry person that is sitting somewhere on a throne feeling like they can dictate and control how you live your life. But on the heels of this King of Wands is a Knight of Wands. This is someone here who is taking action. You don't really see this person coming until they pull up on you. Ace of Wands. Here's the same Knight of Wands and boom, Four of Wands and the Strength card here. This is a, a, a union that can't be broken. It's too strong. 
And for some of you, again, you may not have met this person just yet, or this is someone in your life and it hasn't turned into too much. I'm getting for some of you, there's a courtship that's happening here because again, going back to, there's a separation that has happened here. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Unknown card. The Chariot and then the Sun with the Queen of Pentacles. So, for a Divine Feminine here, for sure. And here you have the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Again, like I said, you're the Queen of Cups, but you're the Empress. There's a Divine Feminine here who's gone through a major transformation. Where you literally, and I just said shape-shifting. You have mastered being all four Queens. It's no doubt that you're an empress and you're a high priestess. You hold the keys. You have all of the knowledge. And you're being connected now with a, a spiritual leader and a teacher or someone who has gone through the same test trials and tribulations as you. Literally, you have the queen of pentacles here, the queen of cups. The Queen of Wands, and they were all together with the Queen of Swords. So you've you've mastered the mind, how to communicate, you know how to take action, you've had your glow up, you know how to be sexy, assertive, ambitious, you've mastered your emotions. You know, you're taking charge even with being intuitive, Queen of Pentacles, you're taking care of your money, your finances. Like you had to go. So this was prep, there was a preparation stage here. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So there had to be a separation in order for you now to go. And the will of fortune here is time. So there were things, there were loose ends. You had to tie up things. And the chariot is here. Moving in towards the sun. And like I said, for some of you, there's a baby or a business that is coming. Or for some, coming back. All you had to do was be willing to embrace the unknown while you were at the crossroads. This was a, a huge lesson in faith, patience. Hope. Can you hold on to your faith in a time of nine of swords when you feel hopeless? When you're full of stress, fear, and anxiety? Do you understand that your angels, your guides, your ancestors, God is going to come in and, and work with you? You have to team up with your own spiritual team to be able to get to where it is that you're going. And you have to go within or you're needing to go within to figure out what's causing instability in your life because that is what was blocking you from receiving six of cups, your inheritance. So it's like you're, you're getting everything now. It's very similar to the reading that I did earlier, but even in love, some of you, there's a partnership here. You're receiving everything that you, you wanted to manifest. It's, it's kind of like God is saying, I just needed a little bit more time with you. You were discontent and got bored because you felt like perhaps you had missed out on an opportunity or something had been taken from you. Some of you may have said that you had given up on love or your business or whatever. But let me show you how amazing God is. Look at this. The Empress. The Tower. The Lovers. The Ten of Cups. Death. Ten of Swords, your person, Knight of Cups, your person is coming back or they're coming in. Seven of Cups, because all of the illusions and the confusion, it doesn't matter. You're the High Priestess. Six of Pentacles, it's destined for you to have equal give and take, reciprocity. All of the conflict and the chaos, five of pentacles, that's coming to an end. It's, com it's a completion here. Your reward and recognition for being steadfast and being able to work through all of the adversity that has come with all of these illusions here with the moon that has caused all of these burdens. It's over. Three of cups, nine of pentacles. You and someone get to collaborate together because you both did the work. Here's the king. Oh, my God. Here's the king of wands and the emperor. What did I tell you? There's a progression between two people. You and someone have been tag teaming each other spiritually. This king of wands is an emperor. When partnered up with this emperor's high priestess. Here she is, the Empress in the Tower. 
and the lovers. The divine is coming in, making it very clear that this union between these two souls is destined. And as I said before, Ten of Swords, something that was over, something that was ruined or sabotaged is having a rebirth, a transformation, because you're destined to have a family, wish fulfillment, happiness, abundance, and a lot of satisfaction with this person. And someone here is for sure going to be given a baby and or a business. Scorpio season is about to change a lot for you. I want to pull some kind of love card. <laughs> this is beautiful. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, give me a second, guys. Let's see. I want to, um, I think this deck is called the Sacred Traveler's Deck. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> you have her passion and pleasure. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Infinite abundance. Okay. Abundance is pouring into your life. Voyage of the heart. It says love flows through you and to you. That's beautiful. And then breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Like this reading is so Amazing. And then here's the four of swords. So it's saying you can rest. You can rest and retreat. You're going towards like wish fulfillment because after that, I see the star. But here, the wise leader, you are a beacon for others. So again, for some of you, especially seeing the high priestess and the hierophant here, you met someone or you're going to meet someone. You guys don't don't fear separations because if you are in your highest vibration and you're doing the work, Whatever is meant for you is going to be for you. Okay. Like I said, this could be someone that you've dealt with that's coming back. Or some of you are just a vibrational match now for the person that's meant for you. Now, this is someone you could have crossed paths with already. But like I said, I feel like you met someone prematurely. It was kind of like a teaser. You got to see like, oh, this is the person, you know, that I'm supposed to be with. But you still had to stay focus on your own mission because you can't come into this type of connection where the two of you are supposed to be wise leaders you're supposed to be a beacon of light for others your your connection is going to speak about your entire journey it's going to influence other people and inspire other people so if you met someone and sometimes sometimes spirit will break you apart from that person for you to heal also, you and someone could have met and you weren't quite spiritually prepared to go into a union at that time because there was so much conflict and chaos happening around you. So, you know, I've been talking for the last few days about forgiveness. Understand that it's okay for you to forgive these people who did, you know, whatever they did to you, because the truth is, is that they just prepared you for something much greater. Your connection is so much more solid now than what it would have been before had you not gone through this. Because you have to admit that now that you've gone through this, you're going to see just how loyal, dedicated, devoted, and committed a person is to you because of their dedication to themselves. For someone to have gone through all of this and, and still believe in love, it says a lot. So you have passion and pleasure coming along with infinite abundance because there's a breakthrough happening so let's just see oh, reconciliation and here's children i told you and then accountability so like i said for some of you you and someone you had to break up whether this is someone you have a lot of history with or not much history with at all be open to someone returning and maybe they're returning from a past life. It's destined for you and this person to reconcile for the sake of your children or you're supposed to have a child or more children with this person. But I feel like you both had to take time away from one another or in this lifetime if you haven't met this person. Learning how to be accountable for your actions, learning about forgiveness, learning how to let go. And now you're ready for love. When this person enters your life, you're going to have butterflies because they are going to appeal to your higher self. 
you won't feel the need to have control. Maybe you needed to work on control issues and control issues comes from insecurities around love or a fear of intimacy. You feel like you need to dictate and control things because maybe you just weren't ready for love. You were afraid of it. I'm, I'm really getting for some of you though, for some, this is someone that could be from your distant, distant past. For some of you, this is like, it was something that came together. It was quick. It was short lived, but it was, it was actually your divine counterpart. Yeah, very soon you and this person will be spending a lot of quality time together. I feel like you're going to be exploring things after a breakup, a separation. There are times where people, you know, four of swords, they, they separate and they come back together. Or for some of you, like I said, this could be some ancient love story that's <laughs> being rebirthed and coming back. 